he's a true American hero. William Kyle Carpenter receives the Medal of Honor from the President, the nation's highest award for valor. You notice that Kyle doesn't hide his scars. He's proud of them and the service that they represent. Since the eighth grade, Corporal Carpenter says he wanted to be a Marine. At 19, he enlisted. I remember that like it was yesterday. In November 2010, five months into his deployment in Afghanistan, he found himself in a terrible firefight with the Taliban. Out of nowhere, a grenade landed at Carpenter's feet. The 19-year-old from South Carolina leaped on the grenade, saving his fellow Marine's life, but the blast tore Kyle's body apart. My whole body was numb, but at the same time, my next feeling was uh, I felt like warm water was being poured all over me from the blood coming out and the blood loss. Sergeant Jared Lilly was the first on the scene. I thought that he was either dead or he would be soon. One of the few things I remember is, is, is telling the Marines that were treating me that I'm going to die and I couldn't see or hear him, but I just remember saying over and over again, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Flown to Walter Reed Hospital in Washington, Kyle found himself surrounded by his family. I mean, I, I never expected um, the damage to be that severe. Kyle lost his right eye. His right arm was nearly amputated, his jaw blown off. Shrapnel had riddled his body, including his brain. I just remember telling him he was going to be okay. Kyle had to undergo 30 operations. Look at this. Kyle's had an image of his purple heart embedded into his glass eye. Recovery is a daily ordeal. He pushes his body to the limit, even pull-ups, despite a mangled right arm. I'm really enjoying life and taking advantage of everything I can just to really get out there and, and experience the second chance I've been given. With that singular act of courage, uh, Kyle, you not only saved your brother in arms, you displayed a heroism in the blink of an eye that will inspire for generations. A grateful nation awards him its highest military honor.